how you can use AI tools to find or redefine your research topic. This is the commonly asked question at my platform. To use AI tools for each purpose, you should first know about the right tool and then the potential of that tool to solve that specific problem that you want to solve with the help of that AI tool. So this video is focusing on that which tool is appropriate to find the research topic or refine your research topic. I will give you three options and free option is also included in this video. So stay tuned. First tool is Avixana. I have told this tool multiple times in my previous videos. You can find detailed video about Avixana, its feature and why this tool is very important to find or refine your research topic. In this video, we are going to have a glimpse of its only one feature to find the research topic. But you can find my videos in my AI research playlist where you will see the other features of this tool. So after getting login with your Google account, you will come up with this kind of interface. Here you have to uh, feed this tool first about your field of study, your degree and all that. So for example, if we start basic from topic formulation, I already have a new topic, I already have a research topic, I have a supervisor suggestion. So for example, I have a supervisor suggestion. So what directions has your supervisor given? For example, I said my application so metasol based study clicker as a solvent in medicine is the suggestion which have been provided by my supervisor. After feeding the tool with the initial suggestions, I will press on formulate topic. Avixana will work on refining this research topic by keeping in view the literature available, how the studies have been done on this specific topic in literature and what are the key areas I should focus in my studies. So application of a metazole based tannic liquid recommendation are these. Get level indication how much existing research have addressed your topic to identify areas for further exploration. Narrow down and clarity your topic to make it more specific and focused and so this is the 6.92% relevance and this is the high research gap only this percent of literature is available on my topic and this topic have a huge gap or a huge potential to cover in future research. So psychological effect of metazole based tannic liquid solvents on patent medicine adherence and treatment outcome. This is the literature or this is the importance of this topic and then this is the other four suggestions which Avixana provide me and along with it is also fetching the importance of this topic including a topic information to explore its potential and why we should study on this topic. The study explored the conjugative process of drug information when medicines are delivered using medicine using a metazole based ionic liquid and all that so this topic have uh, covered relatively more in the literature and uh, it's good to go because we should have some information in our literature to study to understand the topic and this topic have 15.44 relevancy with the literature and this amount of literature is available. So for example if I like this topic and I want to refine this topic or start as a project so for example if I want to refine this uh, topic Avixana offers me to explore further areas which I can consider as a research potential research topic to select this topic. So I can select any and can refine that. After that I can use three credits to start this as a project. Avixana will help me to write a complete research proposal by providing me suggestions to improve each area when you provide your first draft of the tool. So this tool is amazing for those who are looking for specific AI tool which have been designed to develop or refine your research topic and this tool does all your work by its own by keeping in view all the critical aspects in mind which should be keeping while developing a research topic. The second tool is the size space and its deep review feature helps you to refine your query to further dig into the details of your research topic and, and to narrow down that or make it more specific. So for example I feed this tool about metazole based ionic liquid application in um, energy storage, pharmaceuticals and green chemistry so before moving forward to get the literature about this topic size space will help me to refine my topic by providing some suggestions as you can see could you please clarify which aspects of imidazole based ionic liquid you are most interested in exploring here are some options to consider so by keeping in view all these considerations I will be able to make specific changes in my topic and I will get an idea that how I can refine my topic and how I can narrow down it for a specific studies for 
example, what specific application of Amidazole based ionic liquid are you most interested? So I can specify in applications. I can, are you looking and understand the theoretical mechanisms, practical applications or economic benefits for these ionic I can modify my topic about Amidazole based ionic liquids, practical applications or economic and benefits of these ionic liquid in energy storage. So for example, if I am interested in this, I can uh, copy this specific topic and then I will move forward where this tool will help me to find the literature about this topic to synthesize the information and help me to give the list of most related seed papers which I should consider while developing the literature review or developing my research topic. So how this deep review literature feature of SciSpace work you can watch my this the link is available on i button where you can see that how this tool is getting specific about finding the literature by keeping in view the key terminologies which have been used in the QD so that we can move towards the most related research papers. The final tool is the chat GPT and this tool has updated and now it's very much beneficial for the researchers. I have already uploaded a video that how you can use chat GPT run deep research feature to synthesize your literature review with references with citations. You can find my video again from the link which is available in i button. So when I check its run deep research feature and feed this tool about my query this tool does same as SciSpace does for me in free. Are you looking for a journal overview of metazole based ionic liquid in these fields or do you want detailed recent advancements or commercial products? Should we focus on academic research or industrial applications or both? Are you interested in specific examples for example name of compounds, mechanism, performance metrics or do you need citation or sources for academic use? So this except this point uh, these all points are these all suggestions are helping me to make improvement in my research topic by focusing on specific areas like for example I can move towards journal overview or a specific overview or you want recent advancements or commercial products. So these two points which I can add in the application section and, and then I can even get the, the literature about its industrial applications and academic applications which again is going to help me to understand the potential of the application in more detail and by going through the seed papers, I will be able to refine my research topic according to the requirement of my degree. You can find the links of all these tools from my description box with discount code. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share it with others and watch my other related YouTube videos in which I have talked about in detail that how you can use AI tools to find and refine your research topic. I will see you in another video. Till then, take care of yourself.